The answer is very easy. Simply add set ball at the end of both update player score methods. Run the game, and whenever ball hits gate, a new ball will be spawned. Now you're able to play this game forever, which is not too fun as it will get boring pretty soon. We should introduce score limits for players. After score limit being reached, game should be over and winner should be announced. So let's start by creating new integer variable in game manager. Let's call it score limit and make it public, so that it's tweakable from the editor. However, it won't hurt to set default value. For example, let's set it to 3. Then after any of the players lost ball 3 times, we should not spawn ball anymore. We should announce a winner instead, and the game should end. To achieve this, let's head to the game manager and take a look at update player score methods. At this moment, there is no check whether player score equals to score limit, so let's introduce one. I'll start with an if statement after player score has been increased. If player1 score equals equals score limit, in curly brackets let's print winner player1. Obviously we do not need to set ball if game is over, so we just move set ball under the else statement. Else set ball. Let's do the same for another update player score method. Only this time we are comparing player 2 score to score limit, and print command will be winner player 2. Let's give our game a try now. Everything is working correctly, and we have a winner. What we don't have is a way to restart the game to play again, and the easiest way to restart game is to reload currently open scene. To work with scenes, we will need help of Unity's built-in scene management. To activate scene management, go to Game Manager and at the very top add using Unity Engine. Management. Now we have access to a series of scene operations. To load scene, we will add a line scene manager. Load scene with the name of a scene to load inside parentheses. The problem is that our script doesn't know which scene we want to load. We want to reload currently open scene, and we can get its name by using next command scene name. Now let's store this name inside a variable type of string. I will start typing string, let's give our variable a name current scene equals scene name. Now we are ready to use load scene command by adding current scene inside parentheses. It would make sense to create a dedicated restart method, which we can call any time we want to restart the game. So let's quickly do that. Void restart game. Inside curly brackets we put these two lines of code. Now whenever we call restart game, our scene will be reloaded and we can play game all over. The question will be when do we want game to be restarted? We don't want game to restart as soon as one of the players won, it will happen too fast and we wouldn't see the winner. So here comes your big assignment for today's lesson. First task, make it so that game restarts if spacebar key is pressed. To achieve this, inside game manager, create a public key code variable called restart button and assign space key to it inside Unity. It is exactly the same what we have done for our rackets move up down keyboard input. After completing this task, you should be able to restart game anytime by pressing spacebar. To prevent players accidentally restarting game while playing, we should limit usage of spacebar to work only when game is over. So task number two will be to create a boolean variable inside game manager script and name it game over. It should be false by default and will become true only when any of the players has won. Task number three will be to make it so that restarting game by pressing spacebar will be possible only when game over is true. And additionally, print to the console Press spacebar to restart the game when game is over. Have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson.